Hi, everybody. It's me. It's uh, Dr. Kessler from Lorain County Community College. And that is what a pandemic looks like. Um, we have been uh, um, in, uh, I started recording these uh, one year ago. Um, and um, I didn't think I'd be recording still. And here we are into the next, uh, um, into the next year. Um, I'm going to take off my mask, but I'm not going to take it off for long, and I'm not going to get rid of it um, because the mask is going to become important. Um, so I had to add a, a year to my uh, COVIDio uh, image here, so you'll notice that there is a 2021 because we are now um, one year in into the whole uh, uh, the whole deal. Um, a year ago, the college shut down. A year ago, we started doing these things. And a year ago, everybody's life changed because we all um, got into this different thing, got into a different lifestyle here. Um, I'm going to talk about my temperature. And uh, you're going to hear some details about my experiences. Um, and I will tell you that apparently I don't get temperatures uh, at all. Um, even when exposed and even when infected, even when having coronavirus, I don't get temperatures. That does not mean that taking temperatures is wrong. Taking temperatures is great. A lot of us, one of the things I want to talk about today is that a lot of us experience uh, coronavirus differently. I did. I had. I'll tell you about that later on. Um, everybody experiences uh, the, this virus differently in that that doesn't make your own experience the dominant experience. Fact of the matter is, um, temperature is an awesome way of determining whether an infection is um, present. It, it really is. It's a dynamite way um, of, of gauging an infection. And uh, sometimes it uh, uh, it will generate a, uh, in my case, a false negative. Um, uh, which is uh, um, where I had the a false negative means that I had the disease but um, didn't have a temperature. One of the things I want to go over today is there is indeed great news. There is great news. But I told you earlier, I am not throwing out my mask at all. I am not giving up on, uh, on distance. This is very important um, still. It is a very important thing that we do. Um, um, with respect to the virus and, and all. You'll notice that we have an, an incredible decline in, in uh, the cases since January, um, and, uh, which is fabulous, wonderful. The reason for the decline that you're looking at on this chart is that um, is, is yes, partly vaccine, but also behavior. Um, people wearing masks, people uh, um, distancing, people um, coming not in contact with large groups of people is what really got this whole thing started. Hopefully the vaccines will finish. You will notice at the bottom of the curve, there is on the inset, you will notice that there is a slight change of slope, um, almost an increase at one point and then a decrease. I expect more of this. Of this. One of the things that is happening is that people are starting to um, drop their social distancing, drop their uh, uh, masking, and in some states, abandoning all um, kinds of measures for protection. That is not the right thing to do. It is not a good thing to do um, because this is we need to be able to judge how well the vaccines are working, for one. And number two, we're not there yet. We're not. We're not at the end quite yet. Um, but again, I, I want to point out that you know, if you look at the 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 U.S. map here shown here, there's mostly yellow, which means cases are down um, from where they were months ago, which is great news. And it it really does appear to be. There seems to be some hot spots, but. California had a really hard time. They look like they've come out of it almost completely. Their case level, their daily case loads are down to, um, I, I think, nearly less than 10 um, per 100,000, um, which is a, some really good uh, um, uh, numbers here. Even the South is improving as we go on. But I just want to remind you that there is significant threat out there. There is, um, we, we know there is virus circulating. That's what these maps kind of show you. Um, we're looking at September 
back in uh, um, 2020 on the far left, and we're looking at March 11th, um, which is uh, was yesterday on the, on the right hand side, and um, it's no December, um, but it's no spring either. Um, we're not we're not quite there. We need to keep our guard up, um, and that is going to help us continue to drive the virus um, away, um, which is what we want to do. The image of the world, I want to impress upon you all that we here in Elyria should in, uh, care about the world. Um, uh, in Ohio, we should care about the world because the world um, is uh, something that is going to be protective for us. We have to, we have to eradicate the virus from everywhere. Um, if it's somewhere, it's here. Um, that's, that's, I think that's the way I want to say it. If the virus is anywhere, it's everywhere, um, still. So, so, um, we in the United States are doing good. I'm very concerned. As you can see from the inset on this picture, you can see that there is an upturn in the world. There are some places that are of concern, certainly places like, um, Brazil, um, places like, uh, um, the Czech Republic and, and, and Central Europe. Um, France is still struggling. Um, and uh, um, so we see some, in Europe, we see some issues. Um, we need to get that under control. Um, I always want to remind you, it doesn't look like India is a problem at this time, but I am always watching on India because there are so many people there. Um, Brazil is a problem, as I mentioned, um, and some of the other areas. We are doing pretty well. I mean, I want to tell you, we've, we, we, we bore the worst of this. The pandemic that we experienced this time was for the United States worse than it was in uh, 1918. For the rest of the world, no, but for the United States, we went through the pandemic worse. We, we did not fare as well as the rest of the world. The rest of the world Bore, bore the brunt of 1918 flu, um, and it, it appears that uh, um, that we are bearing the brunt of this one. Um, I want to uh, just show you that uh, that that we should be also aware there are 10 vaccines out there, um, and they're being used in various places all over the world. Um, I'm happy about this. I'm happy about 10 vaccines because we can use them. I would hope we would be more sharing in the world. Everybody should should share their vaccines. Um, so that we can we can we can be looking for where um, certain variants. I'm going to have a lot to say about variants in just a second here, because variants are a uh, question of issue. United States, we have three vaccines. We have Pfizer. We have um, we have Moderna, and we have um, now the J and J vaccine. The J and J vaccine um, is. Uh, um, is going to be um, present in, uh, is, is, is used in South Africa, which is really good because I'm going to talk about a specific variant down there in, uh, in just a second. Um, okay, so let me move on here. And uh, um, so these vaccines, um, you can see there is, um, this does not show you all, all of the vaccines out there the, where they are, but um, it shows uh, what extent people are vaccinated. People are mostly vaccinated in the United States. People are mostly vaccinated in, in England and Israel. Those are the big places where the vaccines are going on. Um, so we need to get more vaccine to more people who are, um, who are at risk. Uh, in the United States, in the United States, you can see that the vaccine is. Uh, we are approaching 20% almost everywhere, so um, we are we are moving along. The vaccine becomes. We're now in in Ohio. I know a lot of people are listening to this out of out of the state, but in Ohio, we are are now vaccinating 50 year olds, um, um, all the way down to 50 year olds, and uh, we are getting um, getting more and more. And it is time. One of the big pushes, one of the big things, the messages I want to give you uh, on the 12th of March in, uh, um, in this happy spring. It is so far happy spring um, of uh, 2021 is that we need to get people vaccinated and we need to convince the unvax, the vax reluctant, all the, all the various things that this is a, indeed a good thing. Um, horror stories. There are people who have problems with vaccines, but you have to take it into perspective. 
You get into a car, there's a chance you could get into a car accident. You take a vaccine, there's a chance that you could have a problem too. So I, 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 I want to remind you that um, don't dwell on, uh, on bad stories. There are some. There are some bad stories. Um, if you saw um, here, in, uh, right near where I live, there was a car that crashed and the engine was facing down at a Taco Bell. Uh, the engine was facing straight down. If you saw that and you said, well, I'm never going to Taco Bell again, that'd probably be the wrong thing to think about it. So we want to get everybody vaccinated, and there is a tremendous bonus. When you get vaccinated, and I did, I'll tell you that um, later on, but when you get vaccinated, within five days of getting vaccinated, two things are true about you. Number one, you're, you're starting to get protected. Number two, if you do happen to get infected, because you're not quite all the way protected, <coughs> excuse me, a couple of things are true. One of the things that's true about you is that you are going to uh, have a much milder case than you would have had you uh, um, not had the vaccine. Number two, you are less infectious. You are less likely to infect other people. Um, and that is, um, this was done by a study in Israel. Israel could do it because they, they were a early leader in vaccination. And so they, they noticed and they did this study. Their study was with the Pfizer vaccine. Um, I have no reason to think that it would be any different for Moderna. Um, okay. Um, and then, it, then we add the next vaccine, Johnson & Johnson. There is something great about adding new vaccines in that the new vaccines are tested against variants. And variants are a huge issue. Um, variants um, mean that there are mutations that occur in the virus. And, and, and um, my background's HIV. I think a lot of you know that. And in HIV, I can tell you that we are always looking at variants because variants usually mean that they're escape mutations. They're mutations that allow the, micro, the virus to not be detected by your immune system. That does not seem to be the main modus operandi, main method of action in the uh, um, in coronaviruses. Coronaviruses generally mutate so that they can become more uh, um, infectious. It's more about infectiousness. Um, and so the question becomes, um, you know, with the vaccines, is it effective against the variant? And, and you will notice in the caption of this picture here, it says that a healthcare worker in South uh, Africa this vaccine was tested in South Africa, so we know that it's effective against the South African variant. And that is, um, that's actually wonderful news. And now that is being um, given to people. So of the three variants that we, we, we have circulating right now that are somewhat problematic, um, and, I, and, and did you hear what I said there? The three variants, the problematic variants that we have right now, right now, um, and the reason, and that doesn't mean there's not going to be more. We can stop more. I got to tell you how we stop more. We vaccinate. If you vaccinate, you will stop them because they need to replicate to make mutations. Fair enough. I mean, that's, that's just the way it is. And if you can stop the replication, you can stop the virus. At any rate, there's three here. One of them is from uh, um, Great Britain, England. The other one is from, another one is from South, South Africa. And the third one is from Brazil. And they're all circulating. And they're all in the United States, by the way. I want to point that out. Um, especially the British version, the British vaccine, the British invasion has occurred. And um, as you can see in the last, uh, since the beginning of 2021, the, this virus has been taking off. Where, whereas the, uh, um, the, the existing virus has been going down at a faster rate. Um, this is going to be a, going to mean we're going to take a little bit longer to get rid of it. But this, but let me tell you this: it appears that all three vaccines in the United States work against the British virus. So I'm going to move on. That's not such a big deal. Uh, and and here's the whole United States. Um, you know, we're seeing cases all over the United States. South African variant is not in Ohio. 
Um, but certainly we know that the Johnson & Johnson virus vaccine covers it. We should be sending it to places that are in, that are in need. I am especially thinking about the New York City area and the and the uh, um, and the tri-state area around New York City, um, maybe needing some of this vaccine on, on, a, on a more urgent basis. Um, and then we have the uh, the vaccine from Brazil, and it appears Johnson and Johnson covers that. That's not in a lot of places, but you can see it's pretty well established in the United States um, in in various locations. Um, well, I thought I'd tell you all, I had COVID-19. Um, uh, um, uh, uh, I had SARS-CoV-2 virus. I had nothing respiratory, um, but I had been practicing on something for months. I've been practicing on breathing techniques and deep breathing techniques um, as a sort of preventative ma measure. And I knock on wood, I never developed any respiratory problems and I recovered. I will tell you, it was very serious, though. I mean, it was very, very, um, I did not feel like, uh, you know, I, I wanted to get up and run around at all. Um, I took it very seriously, and I was able to re eventually recover. And eventually, I think this is the way it's, we're all going to get over this. We're all going to get through this. Um, we happen to know that there is, um, uh, that there is a tendency for this virus um, to, to eventually blend into the background. We have four other coronaviruses that circulate in the human population. You've heard me talk about them on this podcast before. Um, this will become another one, we think. And when? I don't know. A year? The two years? Um, we'll have to see. And then it will become what we call that word on this, uh, uh, on this paper, endemic. Endemic means that it is uh, um, it becomes just in the background. It's always there, just like flu, just like a cold, just like those kinds of things um, may be coming around. So, you know, we have all kinds of good news. Numbers are down. We're doing well. We are still concerned. And there is a vaccine. No, it's not coming. Vaccine is here. Um I got vaccinated a um, couple of weeks ago, and uh, um, and or last week wasn't it? Was it what I? Uh, um, I got vaccinated and on the fifth, whenever that was, and I got uh, um, I felt I had some uh, mild uh, side reactions. Some people have more severe. There is going to be as as many different people there are. There's going to be different uh, variations of the side effects, um, and uh, I, I just want to tell you that um, you know we will get through this. We do need to see a lot of people get vaccinated. More people vaccinated, the better off we are, and the more people world vaccinated. If we have extra vaccine, we need to need to get it to other people who are at risk to protect us, not to help them out although we are, but to protect us. It's a very important thing. It's a self-interest. If we want to be self-interested, we can do that. So, um, you know, we will see things start to relax in the future. People who are fully vaccinated. I will be fully vaccinated on the on this, uh, the uh, 12th of, uh, when, when was it? The 12th of, uh, of, er, 16th of April. I'll be fully vaccinated. And uh, like one month, in one month, I will be fully vaccinated and I can start doing things with other uh, people indoors, not wearing masks, that kind of stuff. Um, we've been through a lot. We have been through a lot. Um, I know a lot of people, um, um, there were a lot of information that I put out. And by the way, I'm just going to say something. There were probably some things that I said along the way that were wrong. We ended up knowing we're wrong. I hope that's the case, actually. Because that means we got better information along the way. That means we got, uh, um, we fit, oh no, that's not such a big deal. And I know there were cases. I know there were things that, uh, like the surface area and things like that, that, that we got, when we got more information, we, we, we changed that risk. Um, but we all helped each other, and that's that's a great thing. Um, and this was a very serious, uh, very serious thing. And I got to tell you, not everybody made it. And I just like to take a couple seconds to just remember that not everybody made it through. And 
that's kind of sad. Um, like I say, this was very serious. We've been through a lot. And I'll just uh, let you look at that for a little bit. Stay well, everybody.